Over the last few weeks, I've been posting a series of videos where I read hot takes from Reddit and from my YouTube comments. While there have been some fun ones in there, I haven't gotten a chance to share some of my bold predictions for the 2022 season. While I'm not going to be releasing videos just going over hot takes like those, I'm going to break it down into conferences, giving a bold prediction for every team in that conference. Before we get to today's video, make sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on those notifications if you're new to my channel. If you're watching this video, odds are that you love college football, and odds are you aren't subscribed to my channel, so make sure to subscribe to one of the best college football communities here on YouTube. Also, make sure to drop a like on this video as well, it helps out with that YouTube algorithm and helps share the video with more college football fans. Plus, it only takes a second to do. We're going to start off today's video with the SEC. The first team we'll talk about is Alabama, where it's hard to really have any bold prediction because they're going to be one of the best teams in the country yet again. Here's one though that you might like. They're going to have a Heisman Trophy winner, and it won't be Bryce Young. Instead, it's going to be linebacker Will Anderson. He finished 5th in voting last season, and I think he has a chance to not only finish higher, but win the award. Anderson had a record-breaking season last year for Alabama, finishing the season with over 100 tackles, with 31 coming for loss and 17 and a half sacks. If Anderson has a better season, I think he can make a run at being the first defensive-only player to ever win the Heisman Trophy. We'll go to the defending national champions next. Georgia went undefeated in 2021 en route to their title. Well, I don't think they repeat and go undefeated this season. Not only that, I have them losing two games in the regular season and the third in the SEC title game to give them three losses, missing out on the playoff. Looking at their schedule, there are a number of games in which I could see them losing. In week one, they face Oregon, which is technically at home. I know they're a heavy favorite, but this is still a good team. They could have a tricky matchup against Tennessee. They also have some low-key tough road opponents as they travel to South Carolina, Mississippi State, and Kentucky. Again, they're going to be favored in those games, and they should win. But I wouldn't be shocked if the Bulldogs take a step back and drop a few games this season. There is a lot of hype surrounding this Texas A&M team, especially coming off the greatest recruiting class we've ever seen, but what if I told you that they're going to underwhelm? My prediction is that they finish 5th in the SEC West. Yep, they'll be that bad. Currently, I have Alabama, Ole Miss, and Arkansas as better teams, so that leaves one of Auburn, LSU, or Mississippi State to exceed expectations and finish with a better record. Maybe next year, Jimbo. Speaking of Ole Miss, I'm really high on them and think they can have the greatest start to a season in program history. I think the Rebels open the year going 8-0. They have quite the easy schedule to begin the season as their non-conference slate is a complete joke as they play Troy, Central Arkansas, Georgia Tech, and Tulsa. Then, their SEC opponents are Kentucky, Vanderbilt, Auburn, and LSU. Three of those games are going to be a little difficult, but Ole Miss is likely going to be favored in all of those games. Plus, they're not facing the top SEC teams. If Ole Miss somehow gets through that, they have a chance of going 9-0 by playing Texas A&M the following game. At the very least, starting 6-0 is a very real possibility. I had one team finishing 5th in their division, so here's the other team I have finishing 5th, Kentucky. Last season, they finished second in the SEC East, but I think they take a step back this year. I have Georgia, Tennessee, and South Carolina all above them, with Florida potentially leaping them as well. They return Will Levis, but they did lose a solid amount of talent. I think they'll easily go bowling, but their division is going to be a lot better in 2022 than it was last season. Up next is Tennessee, who I think is going to be one of the more exciting teams in the entire country. I think they're going to have the number one offense in the entire nation, led by Hendon Hooker. Now, whether that's the highest scoring team, or the team that averages the most yards per game, that remains to be seen. But they're going to be number one in something. I'll add on to that by saying they win nine games in 2022. I'm not going to predict who they lose to, but this is a team that won seven games last year, so I don't think it's a stretch to say they're going to be two games better. If I were you, I would take the over in every game they play in. Up next is Arkansas, who really surprised a lot of people last season by winning nine games. I think they improve on their breakout 2021 season by winning at least nine games yet again. I'll add to my bold prediction on their season and say that they defeat Alabama. They face them at home on October 1st. This is going to be a huge game for the Razorbacks, and I can easily see an upset here. Plus, looking more into this, do you guys know who Alabama plays a week later on October 8th? Texas A&M. So, there's a chance Alabama is already looking ahead to that game, and they can have a slip-up against Arkansas. South Carolina comes up next, who, like Arkansas, really impressed me last season. They went 7-6, but they really showed signs of life after some really bad seasons. I think they finish either 2nd or 3rd in the SEC East. I also think Spencer Rattler completely turns things around and is a Heisman candidate for the Gamecocks. 
Now, I'm not saying he's going to be a Heisman finalist, but I got him being in the Heisman discussion all season, and I think he'll finish in the top 10 of voting. Florida has a brand new coach in Billy Napier, but I don't think things are going to go well in the Swamp, as I have them missing a bowl game for the first time since 2017. After barely making it to a bowl game last season, I just don't think they got any better. I've talked about Anthony Richardson a lot this offseason, and how I think he has the potential to be a really solid quarterback, but there's also a really strong chance he busts as their starting quarterback. The Gators also have a pretty difficult schedule, especially to start. They play Utah, Tennessee, and Kentucky to start the season. Then, they also have a pretty rough stretch against Georgia, Texas A&M, and South Carolina that can be difficult as well. Up next is Mississippi State. This was a tough one, as I really don't know what to make of them. They were decent last year, and they'll probably be decent again this season. With Mike Leach as their head coach, all bets are off. I think the Bulldogs are probably going to be a 7-8 to eight win team this year, but they're going to pull off two huge upsets to rank teams. The only problem is, I don't know who. Looking at their schedule, we have a few obvious choices. They host Texas A&M, Arkansas, and Georgia. They also travel to Alabama and Ole Miss. Out of those five matchups, I'm going to say that Mississippi State wins two of them while the other team is ranked inside the top 15, potentially ending their chances of a playoff push. Mississippi State will then follow that up with a loss to Kentucky or LSU or something like that. Speaking of LSU, they're going to be in their first year under Brian Kelly. He took a lot of money to leave Notre Dame for LSU, and I don't think he makes any difference at all, as I have LSU finishing last in the SEC West. Their SEC slate is brutal, and it's tough to see them topping the three conference wins they had last season. Looking at the schedule, the easiest three games they play are Mississippi State, at Auburn, and at Florida, but those aren't gimmies by any stretch. They're likely going to start the season 3-1 or 4-0 with their easy non-conference schedule, but their SEC slate is going to be brutal. For Auburn, we have one that isn't going to be record-related. They're going to fire head coach Brian Harson during the season. At what point? I'm unsure, but I don't think he makes it through the year. He's already had a shaky tenure there, and I think if Auburn disappoints, he'll have a short leash. That definitely can happen, as the Tigers have a rough schedule later in the season. They got LSU, at Georgia, at Ole Miss, Arkansas, at Mississippi State, Texas A&M, and then Alabama. That right there is an insanely tough schedule. They'll be lucky to win two of those games in my opinion, especially if there's a stretch where they lose four or five games in a row. If it doesn't come during the season, maybe it comes after the season, but a year from today, I don't think he'll be their head coach. When looking through all of the SEC teams, I actually felt that Missouri was the most boring out of all of them. I don't know what it is, but they just do nothing for me. They were 6-7 and seven last season, and they're probably going to be 6-7 and seven again this season. So, I'll just make this one insanely spicy for no good reason at all. I'll say they finished second in the SEC East and give Georgia a run for their money. Why? Well, why not? We'll wrap up this list with Vanderbilt, one of the worst Power 5 teams in all of college football. There's not a lot to look forward to for the Commodores this season, but I think it'll be a better year for them in 2022 than it was in 2021. Last season, Vanderbilt went 0-8 in the SEC and only won two games during the regular season. Well, in 2022, Vanderbilt is going to win three total games and win one SEC game. Looking at their schedule, I have them beating Elon and either Hawaii or Northern Illinois. Hell, maybe even both. Looking at their SEC schedule, I have no idea who exactly they're going to beat, but I have faith in the Commodores to pull off the upset in one of these games. Well, those are my bold predictions for every SEC team. What prediction do you think has the best chance of being right? Or was there a bold prediction that you think I'm going to be entirely wrong on? Whatever it is, let me know in the comment section down below. Before you guys leave, make sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on those notifications if you're new to my channel. If you love college football, then this is definitely the place for you. Also, make sure to drop a like on this video as well. It helps out with that YouTube algorithm and helps share the video with more college football fans. Plus, it only takes a second to do. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video.